I remember two things in my early theater going experience. In my family, I was raised by my mother, and we actually were on the poverty level, so we didn't have a lot of resources. I remember going to the Muni in St. Louis. And the Muni is an 11,000 seat outdoor theater, and we were in the last three rows where the free seats were. I could have been in the front row, frankly. For I, I was having so much fun. I just recall the thrill of being there, and I'm still that excited today. My name is Gina Vernacy, and I am the Senior Vice President of Theater Operations at Playhouse Square in Cleveland, Ohio. The scope of my responsibility in includes everything that it takes to bring a show to Playhouse Square, engage the community in that event, sell tickets to that event, seat the audience, uh, and the, the fiduciary responsibility of keeping track of all of the ticket sales and settling that with the show every night. You look to bring shows that really showcase the craftsmanship that it takes to do a Broadway musical. Well, it's one for the money, a two for the show, a three to get ready for a go get go but don't you step on my blue suede shoe. That could include costumes, orchestration, scenery, the writing, the directions. I probably see usually at least 30 Broadway shows a year. When you see good and bad, you understand why good is good and what to look for and what the components are that make it good. I was an art major in college in the visual arts. Art is problem solving, you know? If you're a writer, it's a blank page. If you're an artist, it's a, it's a blank canvas. And if you're a performer, it's a blank stage. And you have to create the thing that happens there. When I started here at Playhouse Square, the organization was in debt. I was hired for three months when I came to Cleveland, but they said that's all we can hire you for because we have a hiring freeze and we have this million dollar debt. We, we can't bring people on, but we desperately need help. What has evolved for me from that is that I was here as the organization grew from two theaters to being the second largest performing arts center in America. Even though in college I was an art major, I was tutoring students in trig and calculus because I also loved math. Finance plays a very big role because this is a business. It's not show hobby, it's show business. I am responsible for $30 million in gross revenues every year. So you have to settle the show every night. Settling the show means anytime there's a show, this seat right here has a ticket price and it could have several discounts associated with it. And for the show, you're the bank. So you have to be able to account for every seat, every discount, for every performance that night. All of the work you go through, all of the cajoling, planning, managing, strategizing, motivating, all of that for me comes in that moment before a curtain goes up and the overture begins and the magic happens. The greatest show for me is seeing the expression of an audience's face. You know, as much as I love seeing what's on stage, I love being in the house and turning around and seeing how the audience is reacting. 